Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. Now make sure to stick to the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 5 to the power of x is equal to 7. Now I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, First start with 5 to the power of x is equal to 7. Now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 7. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this x1 and b to the front of the logarithm. So this would equal b times log a. And this important, this property is really important because let's say I have 7 to the power of x is equal to 14. So right now, as you can see, x is really hard to solve for because if x is an exponent, it's going to be really hard to solve for, especially when we know that x is going to be a decimal because 7 to the power of 1, this is equal to 7, and 7 to the power of 2 this is equal to 49. And 14 is somewhere in between 7 and 49, meaning x is somewhere in between 1 and 2. And solving for this in the form that it is, is really hard. So now if we change it by taking the log on both sides, now I can move x to the front. And now, as you can see, x is a real term, and it's much simpler to solve for it. All I have to do is divide both sides by log 7. Now these two are out, and I have x is equal to log 14 over log 7. So it's actually really simple when you use this property. So now I'm doing this is what I'm doing for 5 to the power of x is equal to 7. So now I had log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 7. Now I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 5 is equal to log 7. Now I can go ahead and divide both sides by log 5. So now these two are going to cancel out and I'll have x is equal to log 7 over log 5. Now log 7, this is equal to 0 0.8451 and log 5, this is equal to 0 0.6990. So now I have 0 0.8451 over 0 0.6990, which is equal to approximately 1.2090. So this is my answer. All right, so I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x. So now I want to find the value of x. So for my solution here, first start with 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x. Now, I'm going to be taking the log of base 2 on both sides. So now I have log base 2 of 2 to the power of x is equal to log base 2 of 3 to the power of x. Now an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this x1 and b to the front of the logarithm. So this would equal b times log a. And the reason this property is so important is that let's say we have the problem 7 to the power of x is equal to 9. Well, right now it's really hard to solve for x because x is an exponent and we know that x is going to be a decimal because 7 to the power of 1 this is equal to 7 and 7 to the power of 2 this is equal to 49. 
and 9 is somewhere in between 7 and 49, meaning x is somewhere in between 1 and 2. However, it's really hard to find the value of that by just having x be an exponent. So now if we use this property, and let's say we take the log on both sides, now we can move x to the front, and now, as you can see, x is a ter real term, and now it's much simpler to solve for. All we have to do is divide by log 7 on both sides. And now we have the value of x as log 9 over log 7. So now I'm going to do the same thing with this. I had log base 2 of 2 to the power of x is equal to log base 2 of 3 to the power of x. So now if I move x to the front for both of these, I have x times log base 2 of 2 is equal to x times log base 2 of 3. Now log base 2 of 2, this is the same thing as 1. So now I have x is equal to x times log base 2 of 3. Now, if I subtract x times log base 2 of 3 on both sides, I have these two cancel out. So x minus x times log base 2 of 3 is equal to 0. So now if I factor out x from this, I get x times 1 minus log base 2 of 3 is equal to 0. So the only value of x, actually now I'm actually going to go ahead and divide by 1 minus log base 2 of 3 on both sides. And these two cancel out and left with x is equal to 0 divided by anything is 0. So x is equal to 0. This is my answer. Now to check, I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x. So I know that x is equal to 0, so I have 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 3 to the power of 0. Now anything to the power of 0 is 1, so I have 1 is equal to 1. And because this is right, our solution is right as well. All right, so I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 16. So now I, I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, first start with 4 to the power of x is equal to 16. Now, 4 here, this is the same thing as 2 squared. So now if I substitute in 2 squared for 4, I have 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 16. Now that we made 4 into a base of 2, I also want to change 16 into a base of 2 as well, because if both terms are the same base, then it's much easier to solve. So 2 to the power of what is equal to 16? Well, 2 times 2, this is 4. 4 times 2, this is 8. And 8 times 2, this is 16. So we have four twos, meaning this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4. So now I have 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. So in the case of 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x, we can think of a as 2, m as 2, and n as x. So this would equal a, so 2 to the power of m times n, so 2 times x, which is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2x. So now I have 2 to the power of 2x is equal to 2 to the power of 4.
Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then this means that a, or sorry, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 2x is equal to 4. So now I have a simple equation. All I have to do to solve it is divide both sides by 2. So then these two cancel out. I'm left with x is equal to 4 over 2. Well, 4 divided by 2 is simply equal to 2. So I'm left with x is equal to 2. So now to check, I had 4 to the power of x is equal to 16. Now we have x equals 2, so I have 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 16. 4 to the power of 2 is the same thing as 4 times 4. And 4 times 4 is 16. So I have 16 is equal to 16.